Hey there. Today I want to talk a little bit about making mistakes while you're learning because I think this is actually a really important concept. We've been taught and I'm not sure exactly when this happened in life and education and other places, but we've been taught that making mistakes is a problem and that you need to be right about things. In fact, nowadays, especially in education, there's not a lot of opportunity for making mistakes. There's pretty much, you gotta get this correct. Every test counts, everything is important, everything gets averaged together. Mistakes are not helpful. I disagree with that. And I disagree with it not just on like basic purposes, but because mistakes are actually important in the learning process and we don't give them enough to go by. So I can't change the structure of all of your classes in all of the K-12 education system, but I can give you some ideas for what to do. And I'm gonna give you some of those ideas based on what I've learned about doing it myself. So I'm really bad with names. I'm not even going to lie about this. I have a lot of trouble getting them into my brain and connecting them to the right people, which is not surprising because with ADHD, I don't hear them the first three times, half the time anyway, which is part of the problem. I immediately forget them. My short-term memory has like, you know, a whiteboard with an eraser and it all goes away. So being able to get names has always been very difficult, but I've been in lots of situations where I've had to learn names. And over time, I've gotten better and better at it. We used to play games with the kids at camp. That was always a lot of fun. But when I suddenly had to learn the names of all of my students who I wasn't seeing all the time, see the girls at camp, you saw them 24 seven for the first two days I could figure out their names. Students, I see three days a week, two days a week, one day a week in some cases, and I still need to learn their names. I had to learn a, nif a new system to figuring it out. So here's what I came up with. The first day, I don't actually do names at all. I collect note cards that have information on them because I want to make sure I get the names right. I ask them how to pronounce them. I get, ask them to give me information about themselves. It's actually kind of neat because it gives me something to associate with them. The next day of class, I actually do go through and ask everybody for their name once. Or at minimum, I kind of, you know, try to back relate it to my roster. So I do that. But then after I have gotten a name at least once, they're not allowed to give it to me again. I have to guess it off my roster for the next two or three classes until I learn it. And I make a lot of mistakes, like a lot of mistakes. I, I give people the wrong name three or four times in a row sometimes. But the key concept here is that that's actually helping my brain work. So I've probably talked about memory before, but long-term memory is like a great big storage warehouse. You can shove a ton of stuff in it, but if it's not organized well and you don't have a good system for getting the stuff back out again, it's not useful to you. So my goal is to make brain connections that allow me to find the names at the right spot, connect them to the right place, and bring them to the forefront of my memory at the right point in time. Practicing helps with that. Making mistakes while practicing, interestingly enough, helps with that. Because when your brain is rewiring those things, it figures out which ones are wrong, and it remembers that. It also connects a bad feeling to them, which can help. And it makes those connections. It also allows you to practice making those connections. And you can only practice by diving into the system and pulling something forward and hoping it's the right thing. If you practice by pulling something forward and it's always the right thing, it's not actually practicing. It's a little bit of reinforcement, but it's not really good recall. But bringing it forward and checking on it is important. Now, when you make mistakes, you cannot keep them as mistakes. You have to correct them and let your brain know you need to go a whole different direction. That's a key. So once you've learned that whatever you said was wrong, now you have to go back and fix it so that you don't keep the wrong thing in the cycle. But making the mistake is what teaches your brain how to make the pathway. The path doesn't go here. It doesn't go here. It goes there. And that's how you do it. Like you're in a dungeon in Dungeons and Dragons and you knock on this door and there's something bad behind it and that's the wrong way. And this door has something bad behind it and that's the wrong way. And you got to find the right path and your brain eventually figures out which way it's going to go. 
and then you get it right, and then it sticks better because you have taken all of the time for the neurons to do that. It's one of the reasons that I like to give things that are retakeable because the idea is to go through them and get some things wrong. Look at the things you got wrong, figure out why they're wrong, go back and fix them. And in fact, that's the best way to do anything. So when you are learning and studying, you should feel like you're getting a lot of things wrong. In fact, your brain will be happier for it and you will learn it better if when you're practicing, you feel like it doesn't make sense and you can't remember any of it. Do that two or three times, it'll click right in and it'll work. That's the way it works. Make mistakes. Make mistakes in practice. Make as many mistakes as you need to. Get it right. And then you'll feel good about doing it in the future. So I gave my students a quote that said, make mistakes. Uh, making mistakes is better than faking perfection. And I don't know where it came from, but I really like it. Better to give it a try and be wrong and learn the right thing than fake it in some manner, still be wrong, and never really learn it. So those are my thoughts for today. Thanks.